We're here with Rihanna on Hot 93.3 Street Date Live, delivered by AT&T Blue Room. Check it out at attblueroom.com slash music. Rihanna, how you doing? I do. How are you? I want to first congratulate you on the success of your album, Good Girl Gone Bad. It's doing real good right now. Thank you so much. The single Umbrella is firing up all the radio stations. I get so many requests for that song a day, you can't even believe it. It's crazy. Nice. Thank you. What was it like recording that song? Did you know it was going to be a hit when you did it? Well, I believed in the song. I loved it. And at that point, I wasn't really thinking or I wasn't really concerned with, with, with um, if people would like it because I knew I loved it. I, I just wanted to record it and get it done and see what people thought because I loved it. Okay, okay. Now, your next song is Shut Up and Drive, right? Yeah, the what? next single is Shut Up and Drive. What was the inspiration for that song right there? Because the title is saying, like, hmm, she's trying to take over some. <laughs> Shut Up and Drive is, is not me really trying to take over. It's, it's me telling somebody to do their job. Like, you know, quit thinking about it. Just do it. You have the keys. Like, the, bo- the ball is in your court. Okay. So what's uh, what's been experience right now with the industry? I mean, working alongside Jay-Z pretty heavily. I mean, what is that like? That is incredible. He's a great mentor. He gives great advice. And he's a lot of fun to work with, too. Now, I got a question about some stuff I've been hearing. I heard that Jay-Z actually screens the guys that want to date you. What's up with that? Um, He does not do that. Okay. That's not true. Okay, so they just came out just people just talking noise. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. Now on your album, you, I know you collab- you've had a few collaborations. Who is somebody you would really want to collaborate with in the future? I would love to work with Andre 3000. Okay, that would be hot. Uh, Josh Stone, maybe. T-Pain. Okay. Let me ask you this. How did the remix for Chris Brown come up on the, for the Umbrella? Well, Chris, he first heard Umbrella and he was like, that's hot. I want to remix this song. He just called me one day and was like, I want to remix it. And I thought, you know, I always wanted to work with him, and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to, you know, get in there and do something with him on this album. And um, he killed it. He called me one day. He was like, I'm in the studio doing it. He did it all on his own. He, he, he sang it for me so I could hear the direction he was taking on it, and I thought it was hot. And he killed it. People love it. Yeah, it definitely puts a good twist. It has, it has that guy version to the song. Exactly. So, I mean, it's definitely hot. And the video, what was the inspiration for the video? I mean, it's really cool. I like the raindrops falling and you kind of dodging them. And Thank what, you. Yeah, I mean, how'd that come about? Did you have that idea already or was that the director? Well, me and the director, we worked before on SOS. And um, he just called me. He was the only director that called me to find out what I was thinking because he knew it was a big change for me. He was like, I'm growing up now. He wanted to know what I was thinking for the new album. Okay. So I called him and I was like, okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Edgy, new, creative, shocking, something that's never been done before. Let's just do it. And he sent that back. And when, okay. I, when I saw it, I was like, I love this. I didn't even read anybody else's. Okay. I was like, this is it. Okay. You definitely have a style of your own with music, too, going from like Ponderife, what had more of a reggae type feel to it, to now it's more of a poppy type sound. What are some of your inspirations as far as music? Like, who gets you inspired? Um, I have a lot of different I- inspirations. Um, I like Madonna. She's one of the artists that I admire. Sometimes I just like to do something fresh and different. Dream is, is who um, wrote Umbrella. He wrote a lot of other songs in the album. And he's definitely inspired me in terms of the direction on the album because he thinks crazy like when he came up with umbrella i was like you are nuts yeah don't even think about that but he's incredible i love working with him okay okay now i gotta big you up on the uh, mtv movie award performance too that was crazy thank you so what can people expect from you on tour from your show a lot of energy it's it's really more of um the attitude that i have more than choreography i mean there's there's dancers but now i'm touring with a band which is a, you know a phenomenal experience i love working with a band you know yeah the band makes it so much better cannot even imagine going the other way okay that that definitely sets people apart the people who do live band versus just having the track playing in the yeah. back i mean I there's so much more band. you can do Okay, that's great. Well, we appreciate you calling in, Rihanna. We thank you so much. That was Rihanna on Hot 93.3 Street Date Live, delivered by AT&T Blue Room. Check it out at attblueroom.com slash music.